All right, guys, good morning. Happy Tuesday. In case you didn't know it was Tuesday, it is. So welcome. I'm Nicole, I'll be doing strength this morning and um, we'll give everybody a minute to get logged on here. Looks like we got a few people. Oh, hi Alicia, good morning. Good morning, Annie. All right, lots of faces are popping up. Awesome, hi Beth. All right, good morning everybody. Miss all your faces, hope you guys are doing well. Um, so today we're gonna do, hey Becky, we're gonna do a strength workout and all you need is a chair or some kind of bench or something that you could possibly put an arm on just to do um, some back exercises. And then a mat, uh, we'll be laying that out and just using it for um, our chest exercises. If you don't have a mat but you're on the carpet, that's fine. It's really just something to lay on um, instead of being directly on the floor. So um, you could grab a beach towel if you wanted, if you're on a hard floor, just to give you a little padding. So, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll get warmed up. All right, so let's just go ahead and get, get some marching in. Remember, if you have your watch, get that started. We'll just get warmed up here. Hopefully you guys have been hanging in there. I don't know what day it is as far as our quarantine day, but at least we've been blessed with some pretty decent weather. All right, let's take those legs out to the side. Just loosening those hips up. Good work, you guys. And let's take that to our hip circle with our little shuffle. Just a little up and over. Just trying to get a little bit warm. Loosen those legs and hips, glutes. Four more. Three, two, and one. Right there. All right, I think we did these ones before. We're gonna do a squat and a, just a little lift. Kind of warming up those glutes without any weights. Good job. So hopefully you have some kind of resistance today, whether it's just whatever kind of weight you might have at your house or some kind of household items, water bottles, soup cans, laundry detergent. Good job. Keep that chest lifted. Keep that toe pointed down. Just warming those hips up. Four, three, two, and one. And let's get those arm circles. All right, how are we doing in there? Hey, Colette. Just nice little circles, flexing those hands. Now let's add those leg curls. Just getting those quads a little stretch. And reverse those arms. Keep those shoulders down, neck relaxed. Good. And we're going to reverse one more time. Turn those hands down and make those circles a little bigger. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Getting those arms, shoulders warmed up really good before we get into our upper body exercises. And reverse. This one's always a killer. Good job, you guys. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. Shake those arms out. Get any little stretch you might need here. 
All right. So what we're going to do is a little combination of a monster walk and then some calf raise squats. So you can do all of these with no weights, just your body weight, or have some dumbbells nearby for the um, squat section. But for the uh, monster walks, we're gonna do about a minute worth. So you're gonna just be down low in this squat, and you're gonna just walk it forward. Hi guys, and then walk it backwards, stay low. We're gonna do this for about a minute. So it's kind of a continuation of our warm up, but it's gonna get those legs nice and warm. So try to stay low, feet are out, knees are staying over your ankles. Can make this even more challenging the lower you get. How we doing? Good job, keep going. Hi Jennifer. Halfway there, you guys. Come on, stay with it. Woo. Keep that chest lifted. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job, you guys. Shake those legs out, should be feeling those. If you need a little quad stretch, get one of those. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a squat and a calf raise. So if you're gonna hold weights, they're gonna be right here, or you can hold them up here on your shoulders, and you're gonna squat down, and then go up on those toes. Squat down, up on those toes. So if you're doing no weight, keep on going. If you're adding some weight, Grab whatever you've got, hip width apart, down, and then up on those toes. Keep that chest lifted. Push those heels into the floor. And breathe. Good job, you guys. Getting those legs you're right from the get-go <laughs> squeeze those glutes at the top sit back press up eight seven six five four Three, two, one more, and one. Good job, set those weights off to the side. We're gonna do another round of those monster squats. We're gonna take it forward. This time, if you have the space, I want you to make a square. So you go sideways, you go backwards, you go sideways, you go forward. So you make a little square and then kind of reverse that square. Now, if you don't have the space, right, then you're just going forward and back. My space is a little limited here, just so that I can stay on camera. Stay low, pull those abs in. Come on. Keep going, I'm gonna go forward and backwards here, but if you get that space and keep going, making that square. Got 20 seconds, you guys. <sighs> keep breathing. Come on, make it challenging. Get lower if you need to. <sighs> 10, nine, eight, seven. I think my sister's on there. Hi, Christy. Four, three, two, and one. Good job, shake those legs out. All right, we're gonna do one more round of those squat calf raises, 
Again, either no weight or grab whatever weights you've got available. All right, here we go. Down and then press up onto those toes. Squeeze those calves, squeeze those glutes. Really make those legs strong. Squat down, right there. Chest is lifted. Abs are pulled in. Breathe. Whew. I always like to start with some leg exercises because it gets kind of the whole body warmed up. That big muscle group. Good job, you guys. Breathe, inhale down, exhale up. Let's go eight, seven, six, five. Good work, four. Press those heels into the floor. Three more. job. All right. So what we're going to do next, you can grab a little stretch while I'm chatting. We're going to lay on the floor and we're going to go into a chest fly and a tricep skull crushers. So just whatever dumbbell you have. Again, if you have no weight, you could be doing push-ups while we're doing the chest fly. Um, you could do wall push-ups. For the triceps, you could do dips using your chair. So if you have no resistance at all, then I would suggest um, doing those options so that you still get that chest and triceps. Um, okay, hopefully, I think you guys can still see me down here. So what you're gonna do, is you're gonna have your, your weights Am I still in there? All right, slide those shoulder blades down. Knees are bent so you keep that nice neutral position for your back. You're gonna lower those weights almost to the floor. The um, upper part of your arm is definitely hitting the floor. And then you're gonna squeeze together. Come right there. Open up nice and wide. So there's just a slight bend in my elbow. Back of the arm almost lays on the floor, but I want to keep resistance. So don't actually let it rest there. You just feel that carpet or floor and then press up. Think about using that chest. Inhale out, exhale up. Inhale out. Now, if you have a bench or a BOSU, you could be doing this same exercise on the bench and you might get just a little bit more range of motion. Good job, you guys. Keep going. Let's do about eight more. We got eight. Seven, six, five, four, three. Good work, you guys. Two more. Two. And last one right there good job all right so from here we're gonna go right into triceps so <sighs> gonna slide those shoulder blades down weights are gonna be straight over your shoulders you're gonna just bend at the elbows and you're gonna lower those weights right to your ears or almost to the floor my weights are very long so mine are gonna hit the floor yours might not they go here 
and then press up, really squeeze the back of the arm. Try to keep those elbows pointing towards your knees so they're not flaring out. Down and up, down and up. Good work, you guys. Keep on going if you got it. Now, if you get to where your two weights are too heavy, you could always set one weight down. Grab one weight, one dumbbell with two hands, and that would be your option to lighten your load. Okay, but find your challenge. If you're still going strong with two weights, keep on going. Really squeeze those triceps at the top, right there. Keep those elbows in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right there. Nice job, you guys. All right, we're going to just stay right here because we're going to do two sets. But we're going to give those arms just a little break. Why don't we do a couple bicycle abs right here? So you're just rotating that shoulder up and over. Go at your pace or any kind of ab work for you. Right? If this doesn't work, maybe you want to just do a basic crunch. Good job, you guys. This is just our rest, so, you know, enjoy it. <laughs> Keep that back flat against the floor. If you've got those feet up, eight, seven, six, five. Hands are light on your head. Four, three, two, and one. Right there. All right, we're going to do a second set of the chest fly. So be careful when you get those weights. <clears throat> Remember, if you're not doing the chest fly, maybe you were doing some push-ups, wall push-ups, whatever is your challenge for your chest. All right, slide those shoulder blades down, nice neutral spine. I'm gonna lower that weight just above the floor and then squeeze together. Feel a little stretch across your chest. Good work, you guys. Inhale, inhale out. Exhale up. Good work. All right, I want you to keep going. Keep going. Good job, you guys. All right, I just wanted to make sure that nobody was saying they couldn't see me or anything crazy. All right. I'm sure you kept going. Exhale. Inhale down. All right, let's do about eight more. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four. Good job, you guys. Three, two, and last one right there. Good job. You can just stay right there if you're using the same weights. And we're going to lower them down and press up. So those triceps helped us with that chest fly. So you might already feel these. So you just do what you can do. Take a rest if you need it and then join back in. Squeeze the back of the arm, you guys. Right there. 
keep going. If you need to lighten your load just a little bit, you set one dumbbell down. Good work. All right, let's get eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, you guys. All right, set those weights off to the side before we get up all the way. Roll to one side, and we've got a little bonus work. Since we're down here, we're going to go into a side plank, alternating side plank. So you can either do this on all four and rotate like this, so you've got that knee down, and then you'd come back, and then rotate. So I'm really pushing away from the floor, keeping those hips lifted, squeeze your glutes, pulling those abs, right? Or your other challenge would be here. Both feet, I mean knees are off. Come back to your plank, rotate. Another challenge, you could lift that leg, hold that star position. So just go at your pace, hit that plank in the middle, whether you're on your knees or toes. Just wanna keep those hips lifted, abs are pulled in. Don't let that hip drop here. Really strong. Pull that navel in, squeeze those glutes. Go at your pace. Breathe. Couple more. This is your bonus work, so you're welcome. Let's do four. Come on, you got this. Three. Hips are up, hips are up. Here we go, two more. Two. Pull that navel in. And last one, right here. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job, you guys. All right, maybe get a little chest stretch before we stand up. If you need to stand up in stages, stand up in stages. We're actually done with your mat or whatever you are using, so you can roll that up and get that out of your way. All right, so now we're gonna go into back and biceps. So this is where your chair would be handy. If you didn't have a chair, but you have, um, you know, maybe a table or something, we're gonna do our one arm row. So that's what the chair is for. Um, you could, like I said, use a table. You could even go onto all fours if you wanted to and just do a single arm row like that. So you just need one dumbbell. We're gonna do back, and then we're gonna go right into some biceps. All right. So back is flat, pull those abs in. You're gonna pull that weight right to the top of your hip bone. Squeeze that shoulder blade. Look out in front of that hand so you keep your neck in line with the rest of your back. Breathe. Good job, you guys. Really squeeze that shoulder blade right there. Pull that weight to your top of your hip bone. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right there. Good job. We're going to switch sides going right into the other side. Back is flat. Squeeze that shoulder blade. Pulling that weight right to the top of your hip bone so that you're pulling that elbow to the back corner. Good 
trying to squeeze right in between those shoulder blades, keeping that neck long and relaxed. Good work, you guys. Pull that belly button in just a little bit. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right there. Carefully bring it up. All right, so from here, we're gonna go right into biceps. So just like what we did with our chest, we did chest and tricep. Um, oh, hopefully this is still connecting. I just saw like a little error message. All right, well, hopefully, are you guys still there? <laughs> Anybody wanna give me a thumbs up? <laughs> um, all right, so. Hopefully we're still connected. I don't know. I just saw like an error message. Oh, somebody popped up. Okay. All right. So we're going to go back, or I mean biceps and a shoulder press. So if the weights are a little challenging for your shoulder, you can do like a three to one. So we're going to go one curl. Oh, there we go. There's some new pop-ups. Okay, good. Two, three, one press. So three curls, one, two, three, and a press, okay? If you wanna work your shoulders more, you could do one and a press. So throw in a few more presses. Good job, you guys. The weights get too tiring you can go alternate alternate both just any combination getting those curls and then throwing a shoulder press in there think about just your bicep you guys try not to swing that weight body's nice and strong Good work. Let's get a couple more. Keep breathing. All right, one more round. Whatever that might look like for you. I'm kind of going alternating. Oh, I was gonna, there we go. All right, nice job. Good job, shake those arms out. All right, so we're gonna do another set. Okay, oh, we're good, thanks Beth. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do another set of uh, starting with our rows. So back is flat. You've got that chair or table or whatever you can put your hand on. If you don't have that, you could be right here. Right, you've got your knee, that works just fine. All right, here we go. Pulling that weight up. Squeeze that shoulder blade back. How we doing? Good work, you guys. Squeeze. Remember to think about pulling that elbow to the back corner. Right, so that we're not crunching up through our shoulder and neck. All right, we're gonna do eight singles, so just a little quicker. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, other side. Back is flat, abs are in. Start out nice and controlled. Just looking out in front of your hand if you're using that chair or table, trying to keep that neck in line. 
Good work, you guys. Pulling that belly button. Nice work. Make sure you're breathing. Squeeze that shoulder blade. Couple more. One more. All right, we're gonna go eight singles. Here we go. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right there. Nice job. All right. Whew. Okay. Hopefully you're feeling that. All right. We're going bicep, shoulder press. So any combination. So just trying to throw in a shoulder press. So you can do two or three of these. And then add your press. Nice and tall. Abs are pulled in. Breathe. Biceps are getting tired. Alternate. I think I have just a couple more. If you're still going strong, keep on going. I'm going to do two more sets. This is the last one for me. Good job, you guys. All right, set those weights off to the side. All right, so you're actually gonna need your chair for this last one. We're gonna do one more round of legs. We're gonna do a Bulgarian split squat. Sounds like a lot, right? A big mouthful. Basically, you're just gonna have your foot up on your chair, okay? And you can do this. If you've never done these, I'd say don't use any weight. You're gonna just do a lunge down here. Right, make sure I'm pushing my heel into the floor, keep my chest tall, and then push straight up. Now this back foot, you can either have it flat like your lace is down, or you can have it up on your toe. So it's kind of what feels comfortable. Now if you're thinking, no way, Nicole, what are you talking about? Then let's work on either a stationary lunge or a reverse lunge. And why don't you stay on the same side so that we're doing the same legs. Okay? All right, so you might already be going. That's awesome. I've got my right foot out, but it doesn't really matter as long as you remember what foot you started with. Good work, you guys. Keep that chest lifted. Just going straight up. Feeling this in your quad, your glutes. Make sure that knee stays real stable. So you can keep it real small, right, to start. Four more, if you got it. Three, two, and one. Good job, you guys. Woo. All right, we're gonna get the other side. Like I said, you can do this with no weight if you want to give it a try. Good work. Nice 
this, you guys. Pushing nice and strong into the floor. We might only be doing one round of these, so make them work. Remember, if you're not doing this, you're trying to either do a stationary lunge or a reverse lunge on the same leg. Four, three, two, and one. Woohoo! All right, what I was going to add to that is RDLs, so deadlifts, to just kind of get those hamstrings just a little bit more. So knees are soft. You're going to hinge at your hips just where you feel those hamstrings. And then those weights slide right up the front of the legs. Good work, you guys. Keep that upper back nice and strong. Just hinging at your hips so you're not rounding that upper back. Keep it real strong. Weights just slide up and down. You feel those hamstrings, and then those hamstrings are pulling you back up. Squeeze. Good work. All right, here we go. We got eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Good job, you guys. All right, we're going to finish up with one shoulder exercise. I have to lighten the load. So we're just doing one more shoulder exercise. It needs to probably be light. Um, and if you don't have anything light enough or your shoulders are done, then you'll just do arm circles like we did in our warm up. We're gonna just do front raise, side raise. About 30 seconds, one set of these, we're done. So we come here, side. Good job standing nice and tall, shoulders are back. Keep going. Yep, keep going. Remember if you're not using weights, maybe you're just doing those arm circles. Make sure you reverse, get different direction. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two more. Last set for the morning. Ah, right there. Good job, you guys. All right, shake those arms out. All right, so my challenge for you, if you need a little more leg exercise, you go back and you do one more set of those Bulgarian squats and those RDLs, all right? If you're good for today, then you are good. All right, you guys, let's get just a little bit of a stretch. Let's actually stretch those shoulders. Awesome job this morning. Woo. I think we got, I think we hit it all. And then let's bring that arm overhead, get a little tricep stretch. Remember to check our schedule. I've tried to share it. I know it's on the Tahoma Athletic site. Um, we've got um, all kinds of routines every day this week, all the way through Saturday. So um, 
lots of good variety to keep you guys busy and doing some different things. And what's great about it is you're in your own home. So if it's a class that maybe you would never go try at the gym because you're thinking, oh, I'm going to look stupid or something. Hey, nobody can see you. You could even be in your pajamas right now. Totally fine. So we just want you to stay active and moving. And it's a great way to try some other things. All right, let's get those legs just a little bit. If you need your chair for balance, grab that chair. Otherwise, you're just going to stand there. Get your quad stretch. Keep breathing. Nice work, you guys. And then take that foot in front. Let's get that hamstring just a little bit. If you want a little more calf stretch, pull that toe back. We started off with those squats and calf raises, so you might feel those a little later. And bring it up. Let's start with that quad stretch. And bring that foot forward, get that hamstring, just sitting back. Remember to catch some of our yoga classes this week. Great chance to get some stretching in and pull that toe if you want a little bit more calf stretch. And bring it up, good job. All right, you guys, awesome job this morning. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, keep, keep moving, get outside when you can, get some fresh air. Loved having you join me this morning. I miss all your faces. Have a great week and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Love ya.